Hi, this is Roland again. We're going to work on some really tough stuff. So, uh, a lot of the things we've done have been pretty easy. The Roomba Flamenco might have been a little tough and then it got easy. The modified Roomba Flamenco uh, might have been a little tough and then it might have gotten easier. If you practice it, everything comes easy. This is going to be a little harder. This is going to be just with pick. We're going to learn, uh, we're going to use two different picks. We're going to use the really thin pick and we're going to use the really thick pick. So if you can see what they look like, really thin and really thick. But before we do, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, help us to learn and to really keep our hands on the plow, to plow the land that you've given us, to, to till the soil, that your seed, that your word may be planted through music. And the hand on the plow is the discipline of learning music to the best of our ability to give glory to our Father in heaven. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the thick pick. And it doesn't have to be a really thick pick. It, it, uh, medium uh, heavy or medium, but nothing thinner than a medium. Um, because you're really going to have to use your uh, picking technique. And this is where we learn picking technique. This is the tough part. Because people are used to going down, down, and up, up. This is all down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This sweeps exercise, there's no parallel for it with the uh, rest stroke, with the fingers. It's going to be uh, just with the pick. So, the strings that we use are the fourth, third, second, first. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to make a stair step one and then next string next next fret next string next fret next string next fret you see what i did there first fret second fret third fret fourth fret so i went up a string and up uh, up a fret two three four once i've got that now on this second string i'm going to go to the first fret and then i'm going to stair step the other way and then here, and then there. So you notice I'm going to stair step this way. First fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to the first fret on the second string. First fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret. So if you can remember in your head, I'm going to change the fret and the string. Okay. Now that's the part you've got to practice by itself. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So practice that all by itself. Five, six, seven, eight. You see me stepping at this angle, then stepping at this angle. The next part of the exercise we're going to do just on the right hand. I'm going to go. I'm going to start on the fifth string. I'm going to go down, up, down. I'm up on the second string. I'm going to go down on the second string again. Down, no, uh, down, up, down, up. Now that I make a round, every time from when I connect going up and down, I'm going to end up going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Same string. Up, down. So I double on the fourth string. I double on the second string. Does that make sense? We start with one. One, two, three. Up, down. Up, down on the fifth string. Up, down on the second string. Up, down on the fifth string. Up, down. So no double down, no double up. So you want to do this you don't have to look at it because you want your pick learn the distances now what my right hand is doing is it's coinciding with this down up down up down up down up and then I go to the second fret down up down up down up down up then I go to the third fret down up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
there are a lot of guitarists who've been playing for years who cannot do this, okay? So you're beginners, and I'm starting you with something tough so that everything else will seem easy. Because once you're able to do this, you'll be surprised. With the help of God and your discipline, you're going to become a great guitarist to give glory to God. So this is what it sounds like. Down, up, 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 down. Third fret. It becomes easier as you go up. So that's what that's what uh, it's all about. And then when you go backwards, so I'm going to go like this. Going backwards is harder. Pinky is my guide. Pinky. Pinky goes. Pinky is, the, is my guide. See, here the index finger is the guide. Index. Index down. Index changes. Here it's the pinky. Pinky. Pinky goes across. Next fret, pinky. What's important is if you got this down. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm spending time with this because it's not easy, but it is so fun because you get da da da. Look how it looks like a spider. Get that and you'll get confidence with your pick and your fingers because this is training your fingers. So when you get weird chord changes and stuff like that, it'll be easy because you've done a lesson where your fingers learn independence. Okay, now that was called the sweeps exercise, thick pick. Now we're gonna do the fast strum exercise with the really thin pick. Okay, so this is 16th notes and we'll start on D. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, yeah, say if you've got a metronome, tick tock, tick tock. Accenting one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a The wrist is going like this. Very soon. No arm. You'll never get fast if it's your arm, it's the wrist. Look how fluid it looks. Okay? So then I started at a time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. I get comfortable with that. I don't want to practice speeding up. I'm a strong believer in if you practice while you're practicing and you, uh, you speed up every time you practice because you want to do something faster, you are teaching yourself to speed up songs. And there's nothing worse than a musician that speeds up. So I've done that, now I'm going to go faster. So I stop. I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Got the, I think it can go faster, I stop instead of speeding up. One E and a two E and a two. You see what I'm doing? I'm not going like this. This is what you don't do. If you practice speeding up, that'll stay with you the rest of your life. Practice one speed, stop it. Go set it to higher speed. If you have a metronome, practice one speed, stop it. Very, very important, because I want you to be great musicians, not just great guitarists. And the other thing is the uh, triplets. And with the triplets, uh, of course, you think of triplets. We hear the word when, when someone has triplets, they have three children, three babies. Well, triplets is, are groups of three. And uh, you think of them, they're groups of sixteenths, okay? One, two, three, four, five. So this particular strum is one, two, three, four, four triplets, and then a group of four. One e and a. One, two, three, four, one e and a. One, two, three, four, one e and a. One, two, three, four, one e and a. So on the first triplet, what you're gonna do is it's the accent, and so it's a down. Next one is up. Down, up, 
and then a group of four. One knee and a. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Um, I'm trying to think of... going on, the strum doesn't change. So you have to be very comfortable with one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And at first, if you just start it, that's as fast as you can do it perfectly. That's the way you practice it, as fast as you can do it perfectly. And you'll be able to play different songs with that strum. There are different strums for different songs. You have to learn different strums. That's today's lesson. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we're learning so much on how to pick strings and how to do strums. Lord, burn in our hearts to serve your people above all things. Burn in our hearts that as we get better, we get better for your glory. Burn in our hearts, Lord, for our friends and other young people who don't know you. Help us to use this music to share your love. Santa Cecilia, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen.